Hi, this is John from Ilium Works, and today I'm going to show you how to install our big gripper pegs on your 2013 and later water-cooled GS. Okay, first step is to remove the stock foot peg, and for that we can use either a flat blade screwdriver or a mechanics pick. We're going to remove the E clip that holds the clevis pin into place. And with a, a punch and a small hammer, we're just going to tap it out. Okay, next we're going to get the big ripper peg ready for installation. In our parts kit we have a white plastic dowel pin. We're going to use that to secure the spring into place while we're assembling this. The spring goes in with the bent end pointing towards the bottom. We put the dowel pin through the clevis and through the spring in order to hold the spring into position. Okay, now we're going to install the uh, peg into the clevis here. We have to make sure that we hook the end of the spring into that hole and then rotate it upwards. It'll click into place. Now we're going to put the clevis pin back in through the hole and it will drive the plastic pin out. Wiggle it so it comes all the way through. Now we reinstall the E clip. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate the adjustment of the big gripper peg. Currently, this is in the highest position, which corresponds to the stock position. And by loosening this screw, neural knob on the end, we loosen it until we hear it click. It's about three or four full turns. Hear that click? Now we can pull it out against the spring pressure and drop it down. There's five different positions. They're approximately 11 millimeters apart or 7 sixteenths of an inch if we go all the way down to the bottom. Let the pin find the hole again and tighten the screw back up. Now we're approximately an inch and a half down and forward from the stock peg position. These two set screws here will adjust the angle of tilt or the amount of rock available in the peg by loosening the rear screw. We can get as much as 20 degrees of rock towards the rear. And then you can set it in any position in between for a fixed angle. Now, last thing we have to do is check for clearance on the side stand, and this tab can hit the inside of the bracket there slightly. So what we 
can do is take a piece of tubing or pipe and just bend this up slightly until you have enough clearance and it's not touching.